Uh, good afternoon, Andrea Dr. Sultan Buzodi. Thank you so much for coming for today's interview. Uh, so, first of all, could you please give me a little bit information about your background? Yes, thank you very much for the invitation. Hello to everybody viewing this uh, interview. So, my name is Dr. Zoltan Buzadi. I come from Budapest, but I'm an international educator in the field of business and leadership. And uh, I have been researching with the world famous Hungarian professor Cik Sent Mihai the idea of how to enjoy hard work. And this is my speciality. How long have you been in Kazakhstan? I have been very often in Kazakhstan during the last six, seven years. It's the 19th trip now. So I have been mostly teaching business people in Almaty and Astana. But I'm very proud that I visited Semei and uh, I also had course in Ustkamenogorsk. I have been in Karaganda and I've also been in Aterao because this is a great place to see the history. How many students have you lectured in Kazakhstan? Oh, um, mostly I teach business people, so I would not call them really students. Uh, we call them participants on the leadership development training. It reflects a different attitude also. There are several hundred. So over the years, I usually have a course of 20, 30 participants, also in companies, 20, 30 managers, and there are more than 400 of them. Also, I have a doctoral student in Almaty, and I give master classes, so more classic students. And what do you think about our country? Could you please tell me a little bit about Kazakhstan with a few words? Yes, I think Kazakhstan, apart from what on the surface is great, uh, to see the, the culture, this mix between East and West, between socialism and modernism. For me, what I like most is the need, necessity to develop the way of thinking in a modern way. It means that you should be a partner to each other in business situations, in education situations, not just top down, you know, trying to find out what the boss wants and not wants in the last minute changing, but have an own plan about what needs to be implemented. And this is what I'm doing here in Kazakhstan for myself as an educator. So this is what I like more, most about Kazakhstan for me, is the need that good leadership development is necessary and I can do that. And what does the story of Flegby mean? Yes, so Flegby is a digital game, a simulation game, and the theory behind it is, the, is called the flow or patok. So we will share information about quick facts on flow and Flegby to the viewers in the comments and the section on the YouTube channel below. Flow or patok is a mental state when you do an activity which you very much enjoy. You start to see it on me that I get into the mood of speaking and I lose time control. And I think this is the best activity I'm doing at the moment. And this theory of flow um, has been discovered by this Hungarian-American professor Mihai Csikszent Mihai. His book can be bought in any bookshop in Kazakhstan. And this is the basis of our digital game called Fligby. You also teach for business people, as you already told. So, uh, with this model, for model of the world famous Hungarian, uh, American psychologist. Mihai Csikszent Mihai. So let me teach this to you. It's simple, four simple English words for everybody, for the viewers as well. This part of the face is called the cheek in English. So this starts with the cheek and then when the email is finished then it has been sent and then it's me and then hi. So it's cheek, send, me, hi. This is uh, for business people but this theory of flow is also used for sportsmen to achieve world-class world records. It's used for pedagogy, for, to mid stimulate the learning of young children, adults also, but then it's called leadership development and that's what we do. So we use this approach of um, Chik Send Mihai with a game uh, to develop the way of enjoying the work of being a leader. And leaders, people in Kazakhstan think that, you know, you just have an idea and you tell what they should do and then you get the money. But actually you get the money as a good leader because you take on responsibility. And making the responsibility with good decisions, this is what, what we are uh, discussing in the sessions, and this is a business context. So this is what they learn, how to take a good decision so that the company is growing, 
the team spirit is fine and also the individuals in this uh, organization say that I like my job, money is important, but I really want to go back to the work and do what I'm good at. And this is lacking so much in this region. Most people only work there only for the money and not because of what they're good at. And this is what I'm changing, this is what we change together. It's not just an idea, it's actually possible. This is why we use the latest technology of gamification, that you exercise this. So this idea is turned into reality by different behavior, different concrete behavior. Also, uh, I have read your recent article, and according to one of your recent articles, uh, you wrote there that mostly people choose to move from one job home to another job because they are not happy there, and in order to solve the problem, solve their issue, they won't just move from one place to another. Yes. And because the things that happen is there, not here. Yes. So what do you suggest for those people who move from one place to another place all the time? Yes, they will never be happy. They will continue chasing the best place. So it is true, and thank you for reading these articles. Uh, we share them in the flowleadership.org page, which we're going to share with the interview. And the research shows that the people always leave the workplace because of bad leaders. People don't leave the organization because the office is not the, the latest. They don't leave the place because they don't like the products the company is producing. They leave the organization because they think it's not contributing to their life and it is not in sync, in connection with what they can do. Therefore, leadership development is so important. So if somebody is constantly job, job, hopping from one job to the other, the dialogue would be from the person to say, look, these are my skills, this is what I can do, how can I use this in my company with you, please? And if this person doesn't have an open ear from the leader, then this will continue and they go up higher and higher with the expectation and the prices. So the advice is to tell the colleagues, the people around you, what you're good at, what are your skills. And for this, it's very important to measure the skills. Mm -hmm. By yourself, you mean? Well, most people have some idea on what skills they have. Um, most people can find out about the skills by asking others, what do you think about me? What are my strengths? And we use this digital game to measure the skills. So, can I ask then, could you please tell me, what, what do you think about me? What's my strengths are? Yes, well, I think you're very interactive and communicative. I think you're very good in diplomatic approach to the interview, which we do. So, other interviewers are very bossy and very strong, right? So, your strength is more diplomacy. I think uh, you're also very structured. I can see from your notes that you've prepared many questions, you constantly take notes. So I think this has to do a lot with logical thinking, well-prepared uh, um, strategic thinking. And in terms of uh, getting the work, do work done, you're not in the category of delegating it yet, right? So this leadership skill is called organizing. You organize the work Uh, well for yourself and in fact you're doing also execution which means that you do it yourself in the real world so these are the, the impressions I see from your leadership skills in short to reply about your personality would be far too much what I can see here is your way of working and they are related to leadership skills so organizing execution strategic preparation and planning and also being very diplomatic Thank you. Thank you so much. And in general, I would like to ask uh, that what is the difference between your this uh, flow model and other psychological approaches or models? So the flow model is the foundation for all modern psychological theories, in a sense. This professor Mihai Csikszentmihalyi is the founder of positive psychology. Before him, people were researching about depression, aggression, schizophrenia. But he founded the scientific methods to find out what makes people creative at work, how they are overcoming fears in order to do the work. So the other models or the approaches are actually extensions of this basic. And therefore we think that the flow book 
the flow theory is the basis you should know, and most people don't know about this yet, you know. I have trainings and people come into the course, they play this game and then they want to find out about the weaknesses. Of this model? No, of themselves. Uh, why? But people, why? I don't know why, because they didn't read the basics of psychology. You know, they want to find out what are my weaknesses. But never anybody gets successful or happy because of weaknesses. Everybody always gets successful and happy because they use what they're good at, right? If you don't let, like cooking, then cooking will never be the source of happiness for you. If you like to do handwork, uh, discussions with other people, then this will be the source of uh, a good work and good life for you. You teach how to use your strengths? Exactly, we measure the skills, we use the strengths in business context, but the basics you asked, you know, um, what to do with somebody who wants to do about the weaknesses, we say forget about the weaknesses. Don't, don't listen to this bad voices in your head which came from some historic things that you have to be a perfect person. Focus on the strengths. That is the source of forward. Okay, uh, Dr. Sultan Puzadi, thank you so much for your time and for giving this a brilliant interview. I wish you good luck in your job and in all your future in the universe. And thank you so much. Well, thank you for this opportunity, for this interview, for the viewers. I wish that they're going to find sources to experience their own strengths through different approaches. I wish they are going to read this book and then go further and ask the university, the colleagues, how can we get access to this uh, approach and this digital solution. May the flow be with you. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Goodbye.